morning, class. is going to be on Spongebob Squarepants. Uh, it is a show review. Are there any questions to start the class? No? Uh, yes. Okay, is that a question? I'll answer that after class. Say it again, please. Alright, so the characters that we're reviewing today, as you can see in the board, I don't feel like reading them all off, so just read it yourselves. All right, next slide, please. And again. Squidward Tentacles. Kind of the, well, the crabby guy down the street. Uh, some people would describe him as an octopus, actually, but his name is Squidward. So, as they call him on the show, as I said before, he's actually an octopus. Quite ironic, yes, I would agree. He's known as the cranky type. Uh, and his two neighbors, Spongebob and Patrick, are, are basically the bane of his existence. And we're just going to watch a short clip on, on Squidward Tentacles. Squidward tentacles. <laughs> Alright, next slide please. And again. Plankton. The little guy with a big attitude. So although Plankton is small, he's often considered one of the most dangerous characters in the show. I personally would not consider him dangerous, but he is kind of smart. Uh, oftentimes he tries to steal the secret formula and fails miserably pretty much every time. Um, and, you know, just for the sake of mentioning, this slide is in all caps because people want to act smart, so they talk loud. And, therefore, it is in capital. All right, next slide, please. All right, Karen Classic. Um, the reason I added Classic is because the only episode that I really care about with Karen in it is uh, the one where she fights Karen 2.0, and she's called Karen Classic. That's that's pretty much it. She's a pretty boring character. Um, not much else to say. She's the wife of Plankton. Yeah. So, if there's any questions at this point, feel free. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what's holographic meatloaf? Oh yeah, I forgot. so holographic meatloaf, uh, it's basically, well, have you ever, has your mom ever made meatloaf for you? Yeah, but not the holographic kind. Right, so Karen Classic is not a real woman, uh, so she can't actually make food, so therefore she just uses her projector to uh, project meatloaf onto a plate for plankton which thus is called holographic meatloaf. Good question. All right, next slide, please. So this is Sandy Cheeks. Um, personally, I don't really like Sandy Cheeks all that much. She's kind of annoying. Uh, her and SpongeBob have been known to have a thing going on. So if you'll hit the, the next slide again. Uh, personally, She's doing naughty things with SpongeBob, that's what I think. But, you know, it's a kid's show, apparently. But at the end of the day, that's my opinion. Um, and the story goes actually that she was being used as bait on a deep sea fishing charter, 
And uh, she actually escaped from the hook, and Dr. Gil Gilligan found her uh, unconscious for, you know, unfortunately for her. And he took her in and was able to put that suit on her and keep her alive. So that's, that's why she's in the ocean. Uh, any questions, please feel free to ask. Uh, Sandy Cheeks kind of seems like an inappropriate name. Is it? Well, thinking about it like that, yeah, you might be right. Uh, the producers of the show oftentimes like to be very blunt about you know, jokes for the parents, and then the kids just wouldn't get it at all. So, good observation, good question. All right, so on this next slide, uh, you'll see. Excuse me, son. What's your name? Uh, mayonnaise. That's an interesting name. I'd really like to meet your parents, but uh, what are you doing? Taking notes. Oh, really? Do you know what your full? Do you know what your grade is in the class right now, son? I took notes. What does that say? Say it out loud. I'm gay. Oh. Is that a question? Uh, I already told you. But anyway, as far as your final grade, you can might as well count 5% less for your final grade. What if I give you a red? Well, I believe that could uh, I'll see you after class, Professor. Sounds good. All right, next slide, please. Pearl, the whale. Uh, she's huge, really. And oftentimes, I wonder how she came out of a crab or what Mr. Krabs was doing in his young days. Um, but really, I find her extremely annoying. They do a very good job portraying her as a super annoying teenage girl. And the whale probably has something to do with the fact that they're trying to display a very large, very annoying personality, if I had to guess. Um, and that's all, really. So there shouldn't be any questions. Maybe any stupid slash autistic people would like to ask something. No? Okay, good. All right, next slide, please. And my second favorite character, SpongeBob SquarePants. Ben Geeks is honestly one of my favorite episodes uh, with SpongeBob. But uh, honestly, like, this guy, if I had to go back, you know, 10 years from now, I'd probably say that he basically formed my personality to an extent. Uh, you know, it's one of those things where you're just sitting on the toilet, thinking about toilet things, and uh, a smile comes on your face, and you just think about, man, I wonder where I'd be right now if uh, this little guy didn't have such a big effect on my life. All right, next slide, please. And my favorite character, Patrick Starr. I'll just let you guys appreciate it. Yeah. Alright, so Patrick Starr is uh, a character of his own, I would say. They really did a good job making him seem retarded, and I laugh at stuff like that, because, well, I can relate to that, really. So, I mean, there's not much to say. I mean, the guy is just something else. But, uh, I should have included a YouTube clip, I did not, but if you want, you can go online and look it up yourself. I will say that the voice actor, I, Noah and I were looking up, sorry, one of my students and I were uh, looking up the voice actor, him doing his job basically, and it was really cool. Uh, and basically, if I ever met him, I would shit my pants. Uh, he's just a cool dude. So, if there's any questions, please ask. Oh. What is Patrick Starr? Yeah, so, great question. Patrick Starr, uh, he's a starfish, and that's pretty much it. Do you know what a starfish is? Uh, I think so. Okay, alright, good question. Alright, next slide, please. Mr. Krabs has a extreme love for money. Um, I'm pretty sure Every young person aspires to have 
the, uh, the want that he has, the drive he had, that he has for money. A um, little background, his net worth, uh, it's larger than any other net worth known to the English slash metric system. It's pretty big. He's retired from the Navy, he was a cook, a very, very bad one, which is ironic because, well, his, his restaurant's very popular. Um, just to make a little extra money while he's in the Navy, he filmed gay porn. Um, something that I think everybody should try if they haven't. And uh, one little side fact as well, his Krabby Patties are uh, coincidentally made with crab meat. So if you haven't noticed, it'd be, it'd be good to take a look into that. He's the only crab in the show, really. I mean, there's Larry the Lobster, but he's a lobster, so. Being the only crab, I, I, I really wonder like where he, where he gets it all. Maybe he's saving it in a massive freezer or something. Who actually knows? But um, definitely an interesting character, kind of uh, dark in a way. Um, are there any questions? No? Okay. Next slide, please. So yeah, this will, this will finish the first lecture. Um, just kind of an introduction to the show. So really, um, if, there, if there's anything you guys would like to know about it, now would be the time to ask. If not, uh, my office hours are uh, Saturday and Sunday from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. So yeah, you can call, text, email. I'll meet you there in my office. Anything you guys want to do. So any questions? Yes, absolutely. Uh, are we allowed to Snapchat you? Oh yeah, for sure. Um, I didn't add it in this presentation, but if you do want my Snapchat, um, I have a van in the parking lot down there. Um, it's the white one with no windows. Just ask there, um, and I'd be more than happy to give it to you. Absolutely. Any other questions? Good question, by the way. All right. Well, that'll conclude this class, and uh, I'll see you guys uh, three or four weeks from now. All right. Have a good day. Waffles. Cut. Morning, class. I forgot to put my headphones on. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get this eventually. <laughs> <laughs>